What's up, everyone? So, I've been getting a lot of hate messages and comments on my stuff. But I've also been getting some genuine comments about stuff that needs to be done. And I'm going to explain why a lot of those things are not currently possible for me. First off, starting with the screenshots. I actually ended up losing those screenshots a long time ago. Like, I literally ended up losing those screenshots because the original phone that they were on actually ended up getting so hot that it literally stopped working. So, I literally had to go out and get a brand new one. So, I essentially lost everything that was on that phone. Contacts, the whole nine. So I literally have no way to get the original screenshots of what happened back, unfortunately. Like, and when I say the phone got hot, I mean it literally, like the whole inside of the phone got fried. The whole inside was fried. How it ended up doing that is beyond me. Now, to talk about, you know, me getting a job. I would love to get a job, like a normal, regular job, but what people don't realize is that I am unable to. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I am not able to get a regular job because people don't really realize how evil these people that I deal with really are like they really nobody seems to realize just how evil these people actually are these people are so evil that if I were to get a regular job you know what they would do They would call up there until I got fired. They would literally call my work until I got fired. And I have proof to back that claim up right here. This screenshot that I'm about to show you guys was taken from the YouTuber William Goryhole's channel not too long ago. And it reads right here just so y'all can see so y'all know I'm not faking this shit. It reads this. Just in case it was not clear, it wasn't made clear enough. If you spend time in the Goblins live streams coddling him, being nice to him, and giving him a sense of acceptance, we will find you and take appropriate actions. Goblins are not allowed to make money, get gifts, or have friends. Which, in retrospect, what William Glory Hole is saying in that video, or in that screenshot of that post, that I am not allowed to have a regular job, I am not allowed to do anything but what they want me to do. And what they want me to do is rage out so that they make money off of me. That's what they want, is to make money off of my back. Therefore, I have no choice but to figure out a way to make money off of my music, my artwork, and my merchandise. I have no choice but to do that. But on the same token, it's hard for me to do that because these people will go in they will steal my music and do whatever they can to keep me from making money. Because to them, I'm different. And they do not like different.
And there's a common theme with these people that nobody really realizes. Their target, their target victims are people with special needs or people that look different. And the reason that I know this is because you can go back onto YouTube and you can look at all their victims. Their victims all have one thing in common. They are either special needs or look different. All their victims I can name off on one hand. Chris Chan, Tony aka the Black Dragon Lord, myself, White Bowser, and now Crystal and her boyfriend Leslie. They all have one thing in common. Or we all have one thing in common with each other. We are all either special needs or look different. And me, I'm not special needs. I look different. I'm five foot three and thirty-three years old. I was born with one kidney and one and a half lungs and was not supposed to live past birth. I was very premature. My arms and legs were the size of my mom's pinky and my head was literally the size of her fist. So I was very premature. I was not supposed to live. I literally had a 1% chance of survival. But yet, here I am. So yes, I look a little bit different from my age because I was born very, very premature. But if you don't believe me about their victims, you can literally Google all the names that I told you. And you can see what's actually going on. You can literally put together a pattern. You can literally put together a pattern of who their victims are and really see just how sick and twisted these people actually are. My childhood best friend Rachel actually put it best when she said this. These guys act like a mafia. And they do. They act like an online terrorist mafia style group. These people that I've been dealing with are literally an online terroristic cult. And like I said, the reason that I know that they would call, like if I got a job right now, the reason that I know that they would actually call up there until I got fired is very simple. Because they did it to my biological father who lost his job. He had a very high paying job and they actually ended up calling up there until he got fired. And they have also done it to my friend Brendan, who unfortunately is no longer with us. He ended up passing away a few weeks ago. Because somebody had actually ended up lacing his weed with fentanyl and it killed him. So I can tell you for a fact that these people would call up there until I got fired. And like I told my fan base on kick, I want nothing to do with these people. Like absolutely nothing. My family and me have gone to the police over 113 times to try to receive some kind of help. We don't get anything back. Um, we have made reports to the FBI multiple times. And got nothing back. When these same people that are doing this shit to me are the same ones that terrorize me and my family in real life. They have showed up to my house. These people have actually at one point tried to lure me out of my house to kidnap me. These people have shot at me and tried to kill me while I was on a live stream. These people had assaulted me. 
to where we thought I had a broken nose, which thankfully I did not. It was just really, really bloody and swollen. But these people, they do not care about the law. They do not care what crimes they commit. As long as it means torturing me, my family. And they have many times openly admitted that they will not stop unless I am either dead or homeless. Which is their ultimate goal is to make me homeless. Be after my family passes away, they want me to be homeless. That's their goal is to wait it out until my mom passes away and then I end up homeless. That's their goal is to make me homeless by the time my mom passes away. My mom's 70 some odd years old. She doesn't have that many years left. And all I'm trying to do is be able to make it comfortable for my family so that they can live a comfortable life for the rest of their lives and they don't have to worry about me when they pass. My family does not deserve this shit. My family doesn't deserve this, and I don't deserve this. And you know what? The thing that nobody seems to understand why the people that I talk to, the people that I talk to, they all have the same question that I have. Why is nobody questioning Kate about why she did what she did? That whole thing of because I give off pedophile vibes, that's not an excuse. That's a fucking cop-out. That is a literal cop-out. And the reason why no one wants to question Kate is because she has like over 10,000 subscribers. On YouTube. And no one wants to question her because she's so high up there. And this same bitch that entrapped me, who is known as Kate Peters, a.k.a. Mass Troll Mafia. And think about it. I want you guys to think about that name for a second. Mass Troll Mafia. A massive mafia of trolls. In other words, a giant mob of trolls. And this is the kind of shit that they do in their free time. They fuck with people. But like I said, my friends that I've spoken, my friends, every last one of them that I've spoken to, have all had the same questions. Why is nobody questioning Kate? Why is nobody grilling her the same way that they grill me? Why is nobody asking the same questions that they ask me to her? Why are they not asking her the very same questions? Like, why did she do this? What was her real reason? Why did she feel like she had to do this? You see what I'm saying? Everybody wants to question me. But no one wants to question her. Which I find very strange. And very, very weird. Like, don't you find it weird that... I'm over here minding my own business, not bothering nobody, not doing shit to nobody, literally just working on music, 
and hang out with my friends. That's it. Hanging out with my friends, working on my music, spending time with my girlfriend at the time, and shit like that. And then out of nowhere, I start getting fucked with by this guy named Music Biz Marty. And after I turn him down from him hitting on me, all of a sudden, he comes in contact with Kate, who then, for some odd reason, decides to illegally entrap me. Here's the thing, Bob. It wasn't an actual child. That's the bottom line. It wasn't an actual fucking child. It was an adult. Pretending to be 18 years old. And so she can get away with she did what she did. She turned around and photoshopped the age. Just so she can get away with doing what she did. And that's the point dude. It's not a matter of what if it was this. It's a matter of it wasn't an actual fucking kid. It was an adult catfishing and illegally entrapping in which she had no grounds to do what she did none that whole thing of oh you gave you gave off pedophile vibes that's not an excuse and that's not a legitimate reason like think about this do you think that excuse would hold up in court no it wouldn't the fucking judge would laugh at that and throw it out right then and there. The judge would laugh at her excuse and then throw her case out. Instead of thinking about it like the way you're thinking about it, Bob, think about it on a more legal level. Think about it on more of the level that I'm thinking about it on, like a detective would. A good detective always looks at both sides of what's going on. Not just one. They ex like, say that there's a crime, like an actual crime going on. They look at why the person did what they did. What they did. What was the motive behind it. Why did they do the things they did. And what caused them to go after this person. My question is this. Why is nobody doing that to Kate? Why is everybody so fast to come at me, but yet they're not so quick to question her and her actions? I mean, do you not realize that Kate is literally the most hated person on the internet? Oh, yes, they do, too, investigate them. They, do, they might not investigate the victims, but they do talk to the victims. And like I said, dude, do you realize that Kate is literally one of the most hated people on the Internet? Not because of what she does, but because of things that she has done. Lies that she has spewed. I mean, dude, this chick literally wrote a fraudulent court document. She literally lied on a fucking court document. And drew up a fraudulent court document. All so she can get her way. Because she is a drug addict. Kate is a literally a drug addict, dude. And believe me, Brian, I wish I had the money to, man. I wish I did have the money to. But because of these asshole trolls, I'm still paying off my lawyer for my case back in June. I'm still paying him off. Because a lot of people don't realize that we paid like 2500 for that lawyer. And we're still trying to pay it off fully. 
We're almost done with it, thank God. We only got like four or five more payments and that's it as far as I know. Like I said, in this incident, people need to start questioning Kate. And if you don't believe me about the crimes that she's committed in the past, and the shit that she's actually done in the past, I can easily show what she's done. Matter of fact, here is the article that I found on her. that states what she has actually done. And I actually went in and I dug into these situations that are in this article. And every last one of them is actually true. Like, I actually did my research before actually bringing to light what she's done. Like, let me read off some of the stuff that she's done. Investigating Kate Bristol Peter Part 5. TV fame goes to her head. Urges TV to raise money, then claims to be against raising money. Kate Peters drafted a fraudulent federal complaint against me, meaning Turtle Boy. For a copyright in order to get a YouTube video removed, but use an already existing existent docket number. Investigating Kate Peter Kate Bristol Peters Part 4. Neglecting her daughter. Open DCF case. Family and friends speak out. Top 15 moments from audio transcript of Kate Peters defeat versus TB in Attleboro District Court. Investigating Kate Bristol Peter Part 3. Kicking dogs, abusing, and demanding boyfriend questions alleged, about alleged marriage. Investigating Kate Bristol Peter Part 2. Bizarre YouTube videos about late term abortions. Forcing child to call her names. Judging bad mothers. Investigating Kate Bristol Peter Part 1. Living life as a blogger, shaming bad parenting after giving two toddlers away. Complete analysis of Kate Peters' defeat in Attleboro District Court. Former blogger harassment order against TV denied Attleboro District Court. Her supporters kicked out of courtroom. North Attleboro Police refuses to charge former blogger who hacked into our Facebook page and threatened herself despite overwhelming proof of guilt. Ooh, here's another one. Discord and the dangers of mob mentality. Hundreds of people are duped by a lie that TV exploited. Battered women docket shows we paid for her attorney. Now, here's the thing, though, dude. Turtle Boy may have done some fucked up shit, but I read into the articles, dude. She actually has done some very fucked up shit. I actually read into these articles. I actually did a lot of research outside of that Turtle Boy doc, like, outside of that article. And, dude, let me tell you, man. The shit she's done is beyond fucked up. Like, everything that's in that article is actually shit that she's done. 
And a matter of fact, there's actually video proof on one of them showing that she's fake as fuck when it comes to pretend. Basically, in one of the videos, she pretended to be pregnant. She pretended to be so far along to be pregnant and then was stupidly asking, stupidly fucking asking for an abortion thing from a pharmaceutical doctor at like, like Rite Aid or some shit like that. All for fucking attention, dude. It's all for fucking attention with her. It's all about attention with her, dude. Here's the thing, though, dude. Why is nobody questioning Kate about what she did? Again, dude, it goes right back around to that same question. Why is nobody questioning Kate the same way they question me? I mean, dude, I sat there and I caught Kate in several lies myself. I mean, good God, dude. This bitch who literally sat on a live stream and hit on my stepdad in front of me and my mom while on a live stream. Who just does that shit? Who just does shit like that? Nobody in the right frame of mind does that, dude. And what she did is actually illegal. I actually looked up the laws about where she's at, and what she did is illegal. She is a private citizen. She does not work with police. She is a private citizen. Illegal entrapment, dude. Entrapping somebody without a solid case is illegal. She did not have a solid case against me. At all. I've never been arrested for this shit. I've never had this shit go down. And actually, no, it's not. It is legal when a cop does it. Not when a private citizen does it, dude. If a private citizen does it, that is illegal, bro. Because trust me, my uncle is a retired police officer. And I have family that are in the court systems. So trust me when I say I know the laws a little bit better than people seem to think. I have, dude. And it is illegal. Why do I still care about this? Why do I still care about this? Let me tell you. Because it's affecting my everyday life. Okay, Seema. Then if it's illegal for cops to do it, then why aren't cops being arrested for it? Answer that. Why are cops being allowed to get away with it? Why, why is it that cops are allowed to get away with it, but yet someone like Kate can do what she wants? Why are they, why, why are they getting away with it and Kate getting away with it? It doesn't make sense. Why is nobody questioning Kate on what she fucking did? Why is that? No, Kate literally, is, she had no grounds to do what she did. You want to know what her excuse was? 
because I supposedly gave off pedophile vibes. That was her shitty excuse. And honestly, Brian, we don't know that for sure, but that wouldn't surprise me. That don't matter, dude. That don't matter, Michael. The fact is, people need to start questioning her. Why are they not questioning her and what she's doing? Why is she allowed to get away with entrapment, but cops aren't? If the cops can't get away with it, she shouldn't be allowed to either. And actually, no, I did not. Like I said, dude, I had the proof on my old phone. And like I said at the very beginning of this fucking stream, like I said at the very beginning, the only reason why I do not have that proof anymore is because the phone that I fucking had it on actually ended up getting so hot that it actually fried the inside of the fucking computer. Like it actually fried the circuit board on the inside. So I unfortunately have no way to get that back. And what pisses me off, no one will let me live that down. And that's what I don't get. And actually, no, I did not. The latest one that they're going at me for, that Danica Bladehaven chick, she's actually a fucking known catfish. She was actually a known catfish at the time, which I was unaware of. She did some catfishy stuff to me when I was underage. I was underage at the time that that shit went down. And everything else, they make that shit up. Why? For the motherfucking views. Don't believe me? Check into their shit, dude. Check into their fucking community tabs. Check into their discords. Check into everything they do. They literally have private discords dedicated to not wanting me to make a living. Not wanting me to live my life. Why? Because they want me to rage out. That's what it's all about. And Michael, you clearly got your fucking priorities backwards, dude. You clearly got your shit backwards. You clearly need to fix your shit. Actually, no, it was not, dude. I can tell you right now what year it was. And it was not in 2014. It was back in 2008. They changed it up to make it look a certain way. You want to know why? Because they want to make me look like shit. Like I said, Bob, Michael, how about you guys stop attacking me? I start looking into these motherfuckers' discords. Look into their shit. Look into their discord. Look into their odysseys. Look into their YouTube channels, their community pages. Maybe if you actually started doing some digging, you might see what's actually going on, dude. Matter of fact, like I said earlier, let me reprise, let me review, revisit this right here, which was taken by, this is actually made by William Glory Hole. This is actually made by William Glory Hole a few days ago. Just in case it, was, it wasn't made clear enough, if you spend time in the Goblin's live streams, coddling and being nice to him and giving him a sense of acceptance, we will find you and take appropriate actions. This is what I can prove. I can prove that they don't want me making a living. Right here. Goblins are not allowed to make money, get gifts, or have friends. Yeah, guess what, Carvey? I'll find you and shut your ass down, fuck boy.
You little bendejo. I'll find your shit and shut you down. Just like I do every other troll. So, goodbye. But like I said, if people want me to do better, if people want me to do better, they need to leave me the fuck alone and let me do better, dude. Because it's fucking true. It is fucking true, Bob. Wake up, you blind ass dumb fuck. You're blind as fuck, dude. You're dumb as hell. Do you not realize that what I'm saying is the fucking truth? Do you not see that there's more going on here than what you fucking realize? Do you not get that? These guys are literally a fucking cult, dude. I mean, think about it. She was part of the people that went after fucking Christian. I think about it. There's a pattern going on, dude. There's a literal fucking pattern of people like me being targeted, dude. There are literal patterns here, but you're blind as fuck to see it. Think about it. Chris Chan, myself, White Bowser, Tony, aka the Black Dragon Lord. And now, Crystal and Leslie. There's a pattern there. There's a fucking pattern there. They all either have something wrong with them as far as being mentally handicapped or they look different. They all either have special needs or look different. There is a pattern there, motherfuckers. And why do they do that, you ask? That's simple. Money, clicks, and views. You really think they give a fuck about the law? They don't. Hell, William Glory Hall has openly admitted. William Glory Hall has openly fucking admitted that he will do whatever it takes to stop me from making a living. He has openly admitted that he does not want me making a living. Why? Because he sees me as a low cow. They see me as a low cow. They don't want me to do better. They have openly admitted that they do not want to see me do better. Do you not fucking realize that? Or are you dumb? They have openly admitted to me that they don't want me to do better. They have literally openly admitted this shit. Several times they have openly admitted that they don't want me to do better. And they don't want to see me succeed at anything. They, they literally don't want me doing anything in my life to better myself at all. And do you know how many times I have opened, even though I shouldn't have had to? Do you know how many times I have apologized for shit and I shouldn't have had to? But yet, right there. Right fucking there. And Michael, no, they're not funny, dude. 
Hey Matthew, why can't you see that I'm not fully at fault here, you dumb fuck? For every action, there is a reaction. For every cause, there is a, an effect. And here's the thing, Bob. People won't leave me alone so I can prove that I can, you dumbass. That's the thing. If people would actually leave me alone and let me do better and let me prove that I can, I could show that I could do better. I could show that I could do better if people would just fucking shut the fuck up and leave me the fuck alone and let me do what I need to do. And no, you're not. You're not helping by constantly bringing it up. That is not helping shit. You want me to do better, drop this shit, and let me do what the fuck I need to do to make money. Whether it be my music, my artwork, my rations, let me do what I need to fucking do. So why don't you shut the fuck up, and let me do what the fuck I need to do, bruh. Here's the thing, dude. I want to. But here's the thing. People steal my fucking shit. Every time. People like William Goyle, that ranch chokin's guy, that ain't me. That's them literally stealing my music and getting copyrights to my work. And no, I'm not, Michael. I ain't been here trying to escape this shit. Okay? I ain't been here for the last five years trying to escape this shit, dude. Here's the thing, man. You think me getting off the internet helps? No, it don't. Clearly, you don't know what the fuck goes on, dude. You clearly don't see what these people do outside of social media, do you? You clearly don't see what they do. When they egg my house, they try to have my mom's car stolen three different times. And no, you don't, apparently, dude. They've stolen shit from my house. So, Levi... Sit and rotate, you stupid faggot, pedo lover, bitch. Because that's all you are. When you support Kate, you support a pedophile. Plain and simple. I mean, what was Kate doing with those photos in the first place, motherfucker? What was Kate doing with those photos in the first place, dude? Clearly, she's a pedophile. Clearly, she's a fucking pedophile, dude. Then if nobody supports her, then why is everybody attacking me, huh? If no one supports me, why is no one actually leaving her the fuck, leaving me the fuck alone? Huh? If no one believes her, why is everybody constantly attacking me? I'll tell you why. Views, money, clicks. Here's the thing, dude. It's not funny, man. It's not. It's bullshit. It's garbage. It's a bullshit excuse for people to be lazy so they can make content. That's all it is. It don't matter. And besides, dude, they weren't pictures of adults. That was actually her child who's actually underage. Alright, I actually checked into her shit, so sit down and shut up, dude. And here's the thing, Matthew. 
I don't just attack everyone. I don't. Here's the thing, it is all them, Levi. Here's the thing, Matt. If people would actually leave me the fuck alone, leave my music alone, leave my artwork alone, and actually let me do what the fuck I need to do, if you would actually leave me the fuck alone, and actually let me do what I need to do and stop fucking with my shit. I can prove that I'm not a bad guy. I can prove that I'm not like that. Because I'm tired of people bringing it up. Hey, Michael, or Matthew, Matthew, put yourself in my position, dude. Put yourself in my position, dude. Imagine you're over here, minding your own business, okay? Imagine that you're minding your own business, and every day you gotta see people bringing this shit up. Attacking your friends over it. Attacking your family. Attacking you. Every single fucking day. Think about it. Wouldn't you get tired of it after a bit of time? People attacking your friends. Your family. Yourself. Think about it. And yeah. I made this stream to bring it up. Because I'm tired of fucking dealing with it. Everybody that is fucking talking shit on it. Y'all need to fucking stop. Y'all need to shut the fuck up. And let it the fuck go. Move on. Do something else other than fuck with people. And I know they go after other people. And that's why I attack them back. Here's the thing, Bob. I could. If these motherfuckers would shut the fuck up and go fuck off somewhere, dude. Let me do what the fuck I need to do. Let me do what I need to do and stop attacking me. And stop fucking bringing it up. Here's the thing, dude. I'm proving that I'm not like that, dude. And no, Michael, and no, Levi. Let me tell you right now. The reason why I will not shut the fuck up and why I keep attacking people like you, Michael, and you, Levi, is because you motherfuckers are the cause for a lot of people taking their own goddamn lives. Do you not realize that y'all have actually caused people to end their lives and you actually caused me to go to that point at one point? Do you not fucking realize that? That y'all motherfuckers doing this shit to me actually pushed me to the edge of suicide a couple years ago. The only reason why I did not fully go through with it is because my family fucking stopped me. Oh yes they have Matt. And that's what they don't want you to see Matt. People have actually taken their lives over being bullied by these people. People have actually taken their own lives or attempted to do. I attempted it. White Bowser attempted it. Several other people before me have attempted it, dude. And you want to know why I say that, Michael? Because in my eyes, in my eyes, bullies and trolls don't deserve to live. The number one cause of suicide is bullying and cyberbullying.
and one doctor did actually attempt to take his life. He actually posted on his community page not very long ago. He actually did attempt to take his own life. Like I said, if people would just leave me the fuck alone and let me mind my own business and let me do what the fuck I need to do, I can show everybody that I'm not the way that people seem to think I am. But no one wants to let me do that. Because they would rather steal my work and make sure I don't make money. And besides, a real pedophile? Let me put it this way. If I was a real pedophile, don't you think I would have actually tried to meet up with said person? Don't you think that if I was really a real pedophile, I would have actually gone out and tried to meet up with them? But no, I didn't do that. Why? Because I'm not like that. In, rea in reality, I'm not like that. In reality, that ain't me. It ain't about the what ifs. It ain't about the oh, but what if you did this? What if you did that? Blah, blah, blah. That don't matter. That's irrelevant. A real pedophile goes out of their way and tries to meet up with these fucking kids. Me, I'm not a real pedo. I don't do that shit. Exactly. I only did that one fucking time. One fucking time, but yet... My mistake can't be lived down, can it? One fucking mistake, but yet no one wants to let me live that down. Even though I made a fucking mistake and was illegally entrapped, no one wants to let me live it down. Why? Because you're a bunch of pussy motherfuckers that don't want to let shit down. Hey, Michael, Matthew, do you know how many times I've openly admitted and apologize for my shit. But no one wants to let me live it down. No one fucking wants to let me fucking own up to it and move on. I own up to it, but no one wants to let me move on with my life. Why? Why does no one want to let me move on with my fucking life? And Matthew, let me tell you this, motherfucker. Clearly, you don't understand. How long I've been attacked. Clearly you don't understand. What the fuck I've been through. The shit that I've dealt with. You clearly don't fucking get it. Here's the thing Seema. We all make mistakes. The difference between a mistake. And a constant issue. Is whether you own up to it or not. Do you know how many times I've owned up to my mistakes? We're all human. We all make mistakes. We're all human. We all fuck up. We all make mistakes. That's in human nature to make fucking mistakes. That is in human nature. No one on this earth is fucking perfect. We've all made mistakes that we shouldn't make. Why should we be held back to them? Why should we be held back by our mistakes? And Levi, I bet you fucking send dirty pics to your fucking little sister, bro. How do we know that you don't do that? Or Michael, how do we know that you don't do that? How do I know you don't do that, Matt? Point being, you don't fucking know me in real life, dude. You don't know what I'm actually like in real fucking life.
And you don't think I haven't been accountable, Matt? You don't think I ain't been accountable for my shit? Fuck you, dude. Clearly, you don't understand how accountability works. When someone admits they're wrong, that person that they admitted that they're admitting that they're wrong to needs to let them go and let them live their life. Oh my god, Michael. Fuck you, Michael. Fuck you, dude. Here's the thing. It don't need to be brought up every five seconds, Matthew. So fuck you, douchebag motherfucker. I have literally admitted several times and actually openly admitted on several live streams that I made a mistake. Several times, I openly admitted it. You want to know why I brought it up? Because I'm tired of being attacked every single fucking day of the week about it. Here's the thing, Mike or er, Matthew, I have openly admitted my wrongdoings on several live streams. My question is this, why is nobody leaving it alone and letting me move on with my life? I can tell you why right now, Matt. They want the motherfucking views. Kate don't give a fuck about whether it was right or wrong what she did. Her excuse for doing it is just that. It's an excuse. It's garbage. So cut it in the book of the devil. And suck my wearables, puto. Seriously. Cut it in the book of the devil and suck my wearables. Cause clearly you ain't shit. But here's the thing, Matt. Do you know how many times I've openly admitted on a live stream what the fuck went down? Do you know how many times I've openly admitted to what went on? But guess what? No one wants to let me live it down. Why? Because I'm the weird-looking motherfucker. I'm the one that everybody wants to target. I'm the one that everybody wants to hold to their mistake. Why? Because I'm the weird looking motherfucker. I'm the one that calls out the bad guys. I'm the one that will attack a fucking troll and not give a fuck. Why? Because no troll deserves to be on the fucking internet. And as far as I'm concerned, a troll and a bully are just as bad as somebody that murders someone. Why? Because trolling and bullying go hand in hand. And what does bullying and trolling lead to? Suicide. And what did I attempt twice a couple years ago? Suicide. What did White Bowser attempt just recently? Suicide. So don't judge me for the skeletons in my closet, nigga, when you got skeletons in your closet too, bro. We've all got skeletons in our closet. We all fuck up. We all make mistakes. I've been over here several times trying to better myself. Every day I try to better myself. But guess what? No one wants that. Why? Because they see me as a low cow. To them, I'm only good for one thing. Making them laugh. And that's it. And what do they get laughter out of me raging out? And why do I get pissed off? Because no one will leave me the fuck alone. And why don't they want to leave me alone? So I rage out, you fucking dumbass. Wake up, Matthew. There's a clear fucking pattern that you're not seeing, you fucking blonde bitch. 
There's a clear fucking pattern going on. There's a clear fucking pattern going on. You don't see the secret Discord servers that I see, do you, Matthew? No. You don't see the secret Discord servers. You don't see the Reddit posts, the Facebook groups. You don't see the shit that I see, bro. Let me tell you right now, Bob. That second time, that motherfucker had it coming. And let me tell you, dude, I don't feel sorry for swinging at that guy. He showed up on my property. He showed up on my property. I don't feel bad about that. That motherfucker had it coming. You step on my fucking property... You literally step, you step on my motherfucking property with the intent to harass me, you're gonna get swung on, dude. And here's the thing, Bob. I got counseling for that, you dumb fuck. And guess what? I haven't made that since. I haven't made that fucking mistake since then, dude. Don't believe me, look at my fucking record. Hey Tylenol, how about you go to counseling for being a pedophile, you fucking freak of nature? You dumb fuck little bitch. How about you go to counseling for being a dumb fuck? And like I said, Bob, I don't feel bad for that motherfucker doing what he did. He stepped onto my property. I swung at him for a fucking reason. I know. I'm not wasting my time, Michael. You're wasting your time. By attacking someone like you're doing, you're wasting your fucking time. So shut the fuck up, dude. Don't matter. Yeah, you want to know why I got arrested for that? You really want to know? Because the cops here, the cops here don't fucking like my family. They wanted to shut me up. Hey, Michael, your mom's a racist piece of shit. So sit and rotate, you fucking weird bitch. Oh, by the way, asexual don't exist, motherfucker. That's fake shit. So why don't you man up and say that you don't like having sex. There's no, there's no such thing as asexual, dude. It's called either you don't like having sex or you do. Who knows? Maybe you don't get turned on by chicks. Maybe you get turned on by dudes. Maybe you get turned on by dudes. And maybe there's something chemically wrong with your fucking head, bro. Well, I guess then, man, maybe you're gay. I don't fucking know. No, I'm pretty sure you are. Like I said, y'all dumb fucks can attack me all you want. I don't care. But all I ask is that you leave my friends and my family and the shit that I try to do for a living the fuck alone. You want to talk shit about me on a video? Go ahead. I don't give a fuck. Okay? It's not like I watch them anyways. But when you attack my family, you attack my friends, and you attack what I'm trying to do for work, that's when I have a fucking problem. That's when we got an issue. And that's when I step up and say something. Or if I see you attacking somebody else, 
I step up and I say something. Why? Because I was raised old school. I wasn't raised behind a keyboard like a little bitch. Because that's what half you motherfuckers are. You were raised behind a fucking keyboard like a pussy. You were raised behind a keyboard like a fucking chicken shit. And every time somebody calls you the fuck out, you don't like it. You don't like when someone calls you the fuck out. Oh, what's the matter, Levi? You getting offended because I'm actually saying something? You getting mad because I'm finally stepping up to you dumb fucks? That constantly attack me on a daily basis, and it might not be you guys. It might not be you guys, but it's your fucking friends that do this shit. Like I said, I deserve to make a goddamn living doing whatever the fuck it is that I want to do. Whether that be my music, my artwork, whatever it is, I deserve to make a fucking living. And if you don't like that, then fuck you. Go ahead and keep that shit. Because guess what? That name was given to me by dumb fuck little bitch face fucking Michael J. Hacking. A.K.A. the fat fucking reject of YouTube. Here's the thing, Sima. I don't take breaks from work. The shit that I do, I don't take a break. I work my ass off. I don't believe in taking breaks. I can take a break when I'm dead. When I'm dead, that's the day that I take a break. The day that I die is the day that I take a break. Why? Because I believe in working my ass off every single fucking day for what I want. I don't believe in taking breaks. I believe that if you're going to do something, you fucking work your ass off for that shit. Why? Because no one got anywhere by sitting around and not doing nothing. No one ever got anywhere by sitting on their ass and doing nothing about it. Like I said, the only reason why I make these videos, the only fucking reason why I make them, is because I'm tired of my friends and my family being attacked. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, though, the only reason why I make these fucking videos is because I'm tired of people attacking my friends and my family. If you got a goddamn problem with me, take it up with me. Leave my friends and family the fuck out of it. They ain't got nothing to do with it. You got a problem with me? Take it up with me. Be a man. Don't be a bitch or a pussy and attack my friends and family over what you're mad at me over. Only cowards do that shit. Only cowards attack someone else's family. Only cowards bring someone's family and friends into the mix. I try to leave friends and family out of it. If they bring up my family, then I bring up their family. Sorry, but I'm fucking old school. I wasn't raised around a keyboard like all these trolls were. I don't operate like that. If I see something going on, your boy is stepping up and saying something. Because all trolls, and I'm going to say this openly, all trolls... 
and all goalies don't deserve to live. They don't deserve to breathe. Why? Because that's the kind of shit that leads to fucking suicide. That's the kind of shit that leads to someone ending their fucking life. And let me tell you right now, I've been on the edge. I know what it's like. And it seems like I'm the only one that's got any fucking balls to step up and fucking say something. And yeah, let me tell y'all trolls, not you, Seema, but all y'all other motherfuckers. Yeah, I may not have a job, but at least I'm not sitting here on the internet plotting and planning on how I can fuck with someone. At least I'm not sitting on here plotting and planning and figuring out a way that I can fuck with someone. Hey, Bob, you don't deserve to live or breathe, you fucking bully-ass bitch. Motherfuckers like you don't deserve to live, dude. Because all you do is sit there and attack people. Over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's all you fucking do, dude. So, here's what you need to do, Bob. And all you other fucking trolls. Here's what you need to fucking do. You need to go to your Facebook accounts. Go to your YouTube accounts. Go to the settings and delete your shit. And do like you're telling me to do. Go out and get a real fucking job. Why don't you do that? Instead of fucking with people all the goddamn time, dude. How about that? How about you actually how about you actually practice what you preach and go out and get a fucking job? And leave people the fuck alone. How about you do that? Not you, Brian. Not you, Byron. You're good. You're fine, dude. I'm talking about these motherfucking trolls that want to run their fucking mouths. I want to run their fucking mouths. <laughs> hey, Alan Dirk. Yeah, I may be behind a keyboard right now. That may be true. But you're the one that lives behind one, motherfucker. You know, it's funny. Y'all sit there. Hey, everybody on YouTube that wants to attack me. Here's what I gotta say to you guys. Sit and rotate, bitches. And here's the thing, Steven, I can't get a regular job. You want to know why? Because these motherfuckers would call out there until I got fired. They did it to my biological father, and they did it to my friend Brendan, who sadly is no longer with us. My friend Brendan actually, just a couple weeks ago, actually ended up passing away because somebody laced his weed with fentanyl, and unfortunately he ended up dying from the fentanyl being laced. Like, they laced it into his weed, so unfortunately, he's no longer here. Like I said, it's not that I don't want to, it's that I can't. Because I know what these people are going to do, man. 
I know what the fuck they're about. I know what the fuck these people will do. And that's what I'm saying, man. Nobody really knows these trolls the way that I do. I've been on the inside. I know what really goes on. That's why I speak up. And that's why I fucking say something. That's why I refuse to stop attacking trolls that attack me. If you attack me, I fight back. I see you attacking somebody else, like my friends or family, I step up and I call your ass the fuck out. I see you attacking somebody on YouTube, I call you out. Because no one deserves that shit. No one. Because that kind of shit, the trolling, is what's leading to fucking suicide. Not to mention PTSD. And yes, you can actually get it. Because I actually do have it. I actually do deal with depression and PTSD every fucking damn day. And it's not fun. It fucking sucks. Like I said, y'all dumbass trolls think I'm phased by what you say to me? I'm not. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm sick and tired of y'all motherfuckers bringing this shit up. Every single fucking day. Oh, let's fuck with the weird guy. Oh, let's, let's, let's keep him from making money. Oh, let's, let's make sure he doesn't, he's not able to do anything. Let's make sure he's not able to live his life. Let's make sure that he can't move on and better himself. That's their mindset. They don't want to see me do better. They don't. To them, me doing better is me ending my life. To them, that's me doing better. To them, me doing better is me being locked away for the rest of my life when I don't need to be locked away for the rest of my fucking life. What needs to happen is people like Kate need to be fucking arrested. And locked away. And kicked off of social media. Same with Music Biz Marty. Same thing with William Glory Hole. All these motherfuckers that do this shit. Don't deserve to have social media. Plain and simple. Hey William. Me doing better is y'all motherfuckers leaving me alone. So fuck you, William Blake. Me doing better is you fucking leaving me alone and letting me do whatever the fuck I want to do in my life. It's people like you, though, William. It's people like you, though. That attack me every fucking day and don't let me live my fucking life in peace. I mean, it's funny. Everybody sits there and says, oh, we want you to do better. Then why do you still attack me if you want me to do better? That's literally counterproductive. That's literally counterproductive. If you want somebody to do better, leave them alone and let them do better. Why am I even decide to fight him? Because I got tired of that fat fuck running his fucking mouth. That douchebag has fucked with me for so many years. And I finally got tired of him fucking running his mouth about me. I got fucking sick of it. So what did I do? I went over there and I fucking said something. No, William, the mentally weak one is usually the ones that project. And it's pretty clear to me that you're projecting. It's pretty clear to me that you're projecting right now, dude. 
Only somebody who's projecting would say that shit. So sit and rotate, dumbass. Like I say, I'm tired of people sitting there saying, Oh, get a job, get a job. Then fuck getting a job, dude. Why do I want to give up what I was making money at? Why do I want to give that up for a regular 9 to 5? Why, just so people can sit there and call out there and get me fired? No. I'm not doing that. I'm not falling for that stunt. I'm not falling for that trick. Yeah, fuck getting a job, William. Because I know what's in. Here's what you don't realize, William. These people will fucking find my shit. Do you not realize that, dude? Do you not realize that? That if I got a job and I did not say shit, do you not think that they would find it within a day and come after it? Trust me, they would. How do you think they found my biological father? How do you think they found my dad that lives in Florida and turned him against me? And here's the thing, dude. I have tried. But guess what? No one wants to hire me because of the fucking shit that's being spread about me, dude. So sit down and shut the fuck up. I am not about to give up something that I have worked my fucking ass off on. I am not about to give up what I have worked my ass off on to fucking build. Okay? I have worked my ass off for 10 plus fucking years to try to do good. Okay? I have worked my fucking ass off for far too long to give this shit up. Dude, there is no plan B for me. There is no regular job for me. But here's the thing, Sima. I don't get that luxury. You want to know why? Because people made it to where I can't fucking work. I can't get a regular job. I don't have that luxury. I wish I did, but I don't. Here's the thing, Seema. I have tried multiple times, but you know what happens every time? I get turned away. Why? Because people want to believe these fucking lies that I'm this and that I'm that. Because a while back, people came down here and spread posters with my face on it that I then had to walk around town and tear down. And as a result, guess what? A lot of the places believe it. And a lot of the places that are open for me to be able to work at, guess what? I have to have a license to do shit. Like welding. I actually took, a lot of people don't know this, but I did take auto body shop back in high school. And guess what? I don't get to do that. Why? Because I don't have a license. Because that program got cut out of school before I could actually do anything. Therefore, I can't do that. The only other thing that I'm good at is fucking artwork. And that's it. And guess what? No shops around here hiring. Because they're all booked up for the next few years. Due to the whole thing with COVID. I don't know nothing else. I have to make a living at this shit. I don't know anything else. I don't know how to do anything else. This right here, my music and my artwork is all I fucking got. I don't have anything else. I do not have anything else going for me. I wish that I could actually go out and get a regular job, but I can't. 
So I literally have to make do with what I fucking got. I don't have a choice. I don't have anything else. The moment I go outside, I get followed. Don't blame me. Go to William Glory Hall's channel. Go to all these other pages that have the court cases. Like the court case from back in July. What do people do? They followed me and my family to and from the courthouse. And I'm sorry, but I'm not about to have somebody fucking following me every single fucking place I go. I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to step outside and have motherfuckers following me every five seconds. Sorry, but I don't want that. Like I said, I don't know anything else except my music and my fucking artwork. That's all I know. Courtney, you dumb cunt. Leave my fucking family out of this, you dumb bitch. You leave my fucking family out of this shit. You hear me? Y'all need to leave my family out of this shit. You got a problem with me? Take it up with me. Don't be bringing my fucking family or my friends into your shit that you have against me. If you got a problem with me, take it up with me. Like I said, my music is all I got. And one way or another, one way or a fucking other, hey, Courtney's husband, let me tell you this right now, boy. If you, if you want to sit there and talk shit, then knuckle up and show me what you got, dude. Either put up or shut the fuck up. Because I tell you, man, I got very little patience for motherfuckers like you that want to run their mouths. I got very little patience for douchebags like you, bro. Very little fucking patience. So if you got a fucking issue, then knuckle up, bitch. Knuckle the fuck up. Either knuckle up or shut up, dude. Cause I've seriously had it with motherfuckers like you running your goddamn mouth. Act like a tough guy behind a fucking keyboard. And yeah, I may have lost that fight to Marty, but guess what? At least I fucking showed up and I wasn't a bitch. At least I showed the fuck up. So sit down and sit and rotate, motherfucker. Stupid asshole. At least I fucking showed up. Oh, really, Rick? I won't. How about you ask the motherfucker that I swung that bat at? Or Marty? Two cases where I showed the fuck up. Two cases where I showed up and said something. I swung at Marty after he charged at me. And I swung at that douchebag with the bat. So you really think I have a problem knocking a little bitch like you out, Courtney? You dumb fuck. You really think I have a problem knocking a fake ass bitch like you out? I don't. I have zero issue with that.
You want to know why, Seema? Because these motherfuckers will sit there and follow me around. When my family was going to court back in June, that's what they did. They followed me around. Followed my whole family around. Filmed us when we weren't looking. And I'm sorry, but I'm not about to have some weird motherfucker following me around with a camera everywhere I fucking go or while I'm at work. I'm not about to have that. There's a difference between telling somebody to knuckle up and going out and getting a job and having somebody follow you everywhere. There's a difference. There's a major difference with that. Go ahead, Dustin. Go right ahead. It's not like you're going to do anything anyway. You know you won't do shit. You know you won't do nothing. Here's the thing. I shouldn't have to, though. I should be allowed to live a normal life. So to all the trolls on here that want to run their mouths, I say this. Fuck you and leave my friends and my family and my work the fuck alone. Now if you'll excuse me, I actually have fucking music to make and copyrights to get done so y'all dumb fucks can't take my shit. And Rick, yes I do. You fucking piece of shit. Oh yeah it is William, it's more real than yours bitch. Because all you do is sit on your ass all day and fuck with people William. That's all you fucking do. Oh really? My music's stolen right? How is it stolen? Name one way that it's stolen motherfucker. Name one way that my shit's stolen because I can prove your shit wrong real fucking quick dog. I can prove your shit real wrong. I can prove that my shit ain't stolen, motherfucker. I can easily prove it. So let's see it. Just because I do fucking song covers don't mean I don't do regular shit, dumbass. Just cause I do fucking song covers don't mean I don't do regular shit. And that's what you don't get. Just cause I do song covers don't mean that I don't do regular music too because I do regular music. Now if you'll excuse me, I do actually have actual music to give back to making. So fuck you and fuck every troll up in here. And Seema, as soon as I'm actually able to message you, um, I will. I'm actually currently banned from messaging my friends or anybody at the moment because I'm banned from messaging anybody for a week. But as soon as my time is up, I will message you for sure. Like I said, I'm not able to reply to anybody for a week due to the ban that I'm under right now. But as for the rest of you trolls, fuck you.